Hey all, my name is Lurit and welcome to my channel. This channel is all about sewing your own clothes or fixing clothes you already have. So tonight I have a wedding to go to, my nephew is getting married and I have a dress to wear but I thought about maybe making something else just to have options. I'm not sure even where the, the dress I'm going to make now but I want to have options and decide on the last minute which is in I think an hour and a half I have to leave the house. So this is going to be a very speedy video and very easy because all I want to do is duplicate a really simple summer dress. Something like this, very simple, very basic, one piece of a pattern. A very basic dress but using a really nice and luxurious color so it will be more fancy. Let's start. First thing I did was fold the fa fabric in four pieces. This is one, two, and this is on the fold, so that's another two. And I have a very long strip that I'm going to use because I want to make it a maxi dress. So I'm going to fold this part front because I want to have the inner facing part for the top so it will be, look more professional. I don't want it to be a V neckline, I want it to be higher on my neck. I want it to be higher so I'm going to change this part and just I'm cutting on, on the fourth. So this is what I have. People feeling like the light has just come. I'm going to cut a bit lower the the front piece. We must never stop the way. So I cut it along with the with the interfacing I want to use. So this is what I have. So I'm thinking I'll sew this part and then flip it. So I'll have only the good sides. But first I want to create some straps and move them along this triangle. I'm going to use this, this long piece to slip my strap. So now that I have my straps, I'm going to place the strap like this between the two layers and I'm going to pin it and just take it to the sewing machine and sew all these parts. Kids across the lane. 
This is what we have for one side and if we flip it you can see what we end up with. Okay, so now we need to do the same to the other side and connect both parts and I need to measure what is the height I want this to be in order to attach the other side to the back piece. Okay, so I pinned the back part to its facing and now I need to thread the, the straps in the back part so I'll sew them together. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to pull the strap and insert it in this this way till I get to the pin that's where I want the strap to be I'm going to place it so now if I sew it and turn it you will see the strap nice side okay Whenever you need to change an angle, you just keep the needle in, inside and then you just pivot. You lift the lever and you pivot the fabric to where you want it to sew. Because it's always so straight, so it's up to you to maneuver it. So this is what we've got so far, the, both sides attached to their strap. I'm just going to try it on and make sure that my strap are in the right location. And then we'll continue in connecting the sides. Okay, something we didn't think of. When I measured my strap's location, I placed the front part and then I looked where I want the strap to be and then I pinned it. But now that I connected both parts to the straps, and it is a stretchy fabric the back side the weight of the back side pulled it down really down so i need to shorten the strap so i'm going to take the back flip it back so i see this this little piece and then i'm going to uh, rip seam this part and pull the strap in and sew it again how didn't I think about it? The strap is a stretchy material. So for next time, everything you do, you learn from your mistake. And I hope you can learn from mine. Okay, so I tried it on, it looks okay. Now we're going to attach the side seam. So I just flip the dress so the right sides are facing each other. And you can see what we have. We have the long side of the dress but we also have this little piece from the facing so if you want to have a nice finish you need to start stitching here so I'm going to attach these two stitch here and only then go over the length of the dress I'm going to stop sewing right about here because I want this dress to have side slips so let's start from here to here both sides and then I'll show you how we continue Okay, so I tried it on and I only have one 
one word for this dress stunning it's so beautiful i think it's the fabric it's really really rich beautiful fabric i don't know but it's it turned out really really nice i need i still need to um i have a lot more work to do it looks it looks like it's finished but it's not uh, we need to um now that we know that the straps are in the right position we need to to go over the seam again and again in this uh, corner or all the corners and then we need to cut off the excess and of course uh, ease here a bit before we flip it and uh, hem the whole the whole button so i'm going to do it now okay so that's it for today i love the dress i like how it turned out uh, if you like this video if you found it useful and entertaining please like and subscribe below i would love to hear your comments and sh let me show you how it turned out <laughs>